You and I have seen this, and it's absolutely devastating. It's so hard to believe, but sometimes caregivers or unfit parents actually hurt their child out of frustration and anger. A three-month-old baby who may have been violently shaken appears to have permanent brain damage and may go blind. 1,400 shaken baby deaths every year in the U.S. If we see little blood spots all over, that's usually uh, retinal hemorrhages. Shut up, be quiet! The baby had bleeding in her brain and eyes. Police are investigating the father for child abuse. Usually if the middle part of the brain is damaged, the baby will die. So you, know. you and I, we've, we've seen oh, this. Man, that and is, yeah, we see it in the ERs and then they come in and parents, just, they just lose their cool. And it's just, it's terrible that this happens. And literally, it can mm -hmm. take one shake yep. and, and a baby can suffer serious brain serious damage. Brain and this damage. simulator can show you how that brain damage can happen. Okay, this baby starts to cry as the caregiver. If you don't keep your cool, you start to lose your frustration. And with a bit of forceful shaking, you can see the back of the brain starts to light up. That indicates this a baby with shaken like that will probably have visual problems because this part of the brain controls vision. And as shaking continues, the front part of the brain lights up. And a baby there would have behavior problems, de developmental problems, things like that. Basically, the baby's head is accelerating, decelerating, and that's figure eight motion. And that really produces a lot of force and what happens in the brain when this happens is you get different parts of the brain move in opposite directions you get a shearing force right. which can tear the neurons the cells in the brain and uh, and that actually can also tear small blood vessels which then lead to bleeding which is very very serious the eyes the eyes from all those shearing forces the back and forth motion causes the lining of the eye the retina to kind of separate from the back and some of those small blood vessels tear and cause what's called a retinal hemorrhage. And that's a huge sign of child abuse. I wish this is something we would never see, but unfortunately it's, it's Yeah, there's common. no worse call for a pediatrician or an ER doctor to make than to Child Protective Services. Mm -hmm. Or worse yet, after a death from a shaken baby or other trauma. So that's very heavy stuff. Mm -hmm. We know this. But I want everyone to listen to Jim because we're going to talk about ways to deal with a crying baby mm -hmm. that are much more constructive ways to prevent yourself from getting so frustrated. I have four tips to soothe the crying baby. I call them the four S's. Four S's. Four S's. And it's not, Throw them. it's a different S word than we're usually okay. thinking. But first off, the first S is swaddling. Simply okay. just swaddling a baby can sometimes uh, simulate the womb and make them, make them happier. The second one, a shushing sound. Get them snuggled up and go shh. And that's this calming sound. It kind of also simulates what the mom's heartbeat in the womb. The third one is swinging. Just that rocking motion can okay. soothe the baby. And the last one, sucking. Whether it's a pacifier, breastfeeding, or a bottle, getting the baby sucking can help relax the baby. Great tips, Dr. Jim. Thank you.